Welcome to my last lecture. I consider myself a lucky child. As a child, I was able to create a lot of memories. It's all thanks to my parents. I was born in Seoul, South Korea in 2002. It was just my dad, my mom, and myself and my family. We lived in my uncle's house. I was favored on my mom's side because I was the first son among her siblings. That is why all my cousins are daughters. When I was a baby, I was a model. I was once on a diaper commercial. It was really nice growing up in Korea. I was able to experience a lot more about my culture. I went to preschool in Korea and I graduated there. It was very fun as there were many activities and etc. Often my parents would take me to places that I've never been before because they wanted me to have more knowledge about the world and help me view things in a broader perspective. I think my parents taking me to many different places helped me throughout my life. It taught me how to handle certain situations and what to do. I am thankful for my dad for taking all these pictures of me. If he hadn't taken pictures of me, then I wouldn't be able to look back and I would lose many part of my precious memories. Unfortunately, since my dad is the one taking the pictures, he's not in most of the pictures. I made a lot of friends in Korea and I hung out with them a lot. So it was a very fun experience for me. At the time, I didn't like to go around to places as it was tiring and I was also lazy. It also seemed boring most of the times for me unless there was a fun activity at the place we were going to. As I'm putting my last lecture together, I can look back to my past and think differently. To think of it now, it seems really fun to go around to new places and I could learn a lot from going to the new places. My parents made those sacrifices for me so that I would be more successful in the future. The fact that I was not born in the United States gave me a lot of advantages in life. I was able to experience more things that other people normally wouldn't. I was able to see how people in certain areas live in a certain way and others in other areas acted differently. Allowing myself to be exposed to a whole new country and its cultures allowed myself to become more of a stronger individual where I will have less fear of my surrounding changing or getting new things. In 2008, I received a huge gift, and that huge gift is my little brother. He is someone very special to me. Even though we fight often, I still love him and we share a strong bond together. In 2009, my family visited the Philippines because my aunt, uncle, and cousins lived there. They moved there a couple of years ago. It was very nice to reunite with my family and it helped me to realize that families are very important. You should try to keep a good relationship with them while you can still have contact with them. A major change happened in 2010. On 2010, October 26th, my, my family, my mom, my dad, my little brother and I moved to the United States. The biggest change in surroundings and my environment that I'd ever see.
When I first came to the United States, everything was hard for me. I did not like the food here, and I did not speak the language here. The only thing that helped me was going outside more often and just letting time pass. Something important I learned while growing up was staying motivated and keep working hard towards your goal. Sometimes it seemed impossible to achieve your dreams, but I found out later that if you try very hard for it, you or anyone else in the world has the ability to accomplish what they want. What the heck? Bro, bro, my hand's shaking. Oh, bro, bro. Oh my god, oh my god. This image here is the view from the apartment I lived in when I was in Korea. It was on the 18th floor. To sum up, in the end, I realized the most important thing. The important thing is to keep and protect what you value the most from the bottom of your heart. Not video games or toys, but people who are dear to you and those who support you.